Basically, when a woman comes in for an implant exchange, primary augmentation, she has a choice between two implants, saline and silicone. Uh, for a long time, all we could offer women was saline because the FDA took silicone off the market. So now we're seeing more and more women coming in for an exchange from saline to silicone. Uh, and I personally prefer silicone. I've done hundreds of breast logs over the years, and I think it's a far superior product. I think it's softer, it's more natural, it's more forgiving. Uh, and, and women, by and large, love silicone versus saline. The only real advantage that, in my opinion, saline has is that if a woman has some asymmetry, a saline implant you can inflate. So you can put an extra 5 cc's, 20 cc's. You can't do that with silicone. In other words, you can't put a needle in the silicone implant and put in 20 cc's of silicone. Saline, you can. But do I think that's a problem? No. Most silicone implants are coming in 25 cc increment. So you have a 300 cc implant, a 325, a 350. And I say to people, we might put a 300 in one, a 325. There may still be a little discrepancy, but it goes back to what I tell all my patients. In 32 years, having done hundreds, I've never met a woman who hits perfectly symmetrical breasts, and you're not going to be one of those. So I, I make sure people understand that. But silicone is far superior.